right. Yes, beautiful. Find that comfortable seat, close your eyes. We'll just take the first couple minutes here, starting to tune in to our breath, come into our space. So sitting tall, nice and tall, reaching up through the crown of the head, rounding down into the sit bones. Just joining, we're just coming into a seat here. And doing a little check-in, check-in with the body, a little scan. And we're gonna work with the breathing exercise here. So we will be breathing in and out of the nose. If you need to clear your nose, um, do so. But we are gonna do alternate nostril breathing. So we'll take our right hand, right thumb, pressing the uh, right nostril in, inhale through the left nostril. And then taking the ring finger on that same hand, pressing the left side of the nostril in, exhale through the right nostril. And then inhale through the right, close the right, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left, close the left, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close the right, exhale through the left. Now go ahead and do this on your own, a couple more times on each side, going back and forth. And your last round will end on the exhale out of the left nostril. That will be our last, and we'll release the hand after the last round. And once you release, just breathing in and out of both nostrils. And just check in from there. That breath is a great way to bring us to the present, but also balancing right to left, our right side of the brain, the left side of the brain, our uh, cooling, um, our, so it's moon sun. So like the cooling side, the heated side, we all have that yin yang in us, that right, left. Cool, heat, sun, moon. All right, let's go ahead and open the eyes. Make our way into down dog. We'll come right into it. Peace and power. We'll begin this uh, first half with our power. So let's just warm up. Come into down dog. Pedal up the feet. Bend the knees. Shake out the head. Maybe find some movement or just hold and breathe. Spreading out the fingers nice and wide. You could also come into a, a child's pose if you'd rather here. We'll take about three more breaths. And feel free to come into child's pose anytime. <clears throat> or release down to the knees anytime, cat cow. One more full breath here, wherever you are. Let's gaze forward, take the feet forward to the top of the mat. We'll come into ragdoll. 
So feet apart as much as you like, bend the knees as much as you like, and then let the head go, the shoulders, the neck. You let the arms dangle, maybe grab opposite uh, elbows, and let the arms hang. Take a couple more breaths here. Maybe find a sway side to side, front to back. Saying good morning to those hamstrings, to that lower back. <laughs> it's always usually my tight spot first thing in the morning. Let's bend the knees a lot and we'll roll up to standing. The head and neck come up last. Once we're standing, roll the shoulders up and back a couple times. And we'll come into mountain pose from here. So bringing the feet a little closer together, palms forward, heart lifts. Hi, Jordy. <laughs> Maybe close the eyes. Close the eyes, find your breath. Couple more breaths here. All right, let's start to move with the breath. We'll open the eyes. On your inhale, take those arms out and up. Reach up, look up. And exhale, swan dive. Feel free to bend the knees a little bit here as we come into a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward. Hands can come to the shins. And then exhale, plant the hands. Step back into plank, let's hold there. Find your plank position. Belly strong. We can lower the knees here or full position, maybe taking the feet a little wider. Bubble breaths. Pushing the floor away with those hands. So we're really lifting up through the back of the heart, making the upper back strong, supporting you there. One more breath. And then one more inhale here as you take the heart forward, come onto the tips of the toes. And then exhale, lower down to the belly. Cobra, inhale, heart lifts. Take the chest off the floor, shoulders away from the ears, and then lower the chest down. Come up and back, down dog or child's pose. Few breaths there. And again, we can lower to the knees, cat cow. Take an inhale. And an exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. The bottom of this exhale, gaze forward, walk step or jump the feet to meet the hands. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up to standing, roll up or reverse swan dive. Flat back, arms out and up. Let's take it into the second round, sun salutation. Forward fold, exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, heart forward. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank. Hold here, once again, couple breaths here. Find your strength. Feel free to lower the knees. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, hold here. Then we'll inhale, push the floor away. Take the heart forward on the tips of the toes. Exhale, lower to the belly or chaturanga, hover. Up dog or cobra, heart lifts, shoulders down. Down dog, take it back, couple breaths there. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Widening the shoulder blades, creating space for the neck. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, the bottom of this exhale, gaze forward, walk step or jump the feet to meet the hands, halfway lift. Forward fold, rise up to standing, inhale. Let's do third round, sun salutation, exhale. Just keep it moving, keep it flowing, forward fold. 
warm in the body, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into that plank. We'll hold there for a few breaths. Nice and strong. What is it, Fri I think Friday's our plank hold. <laughs> We're doing our minute to win it and our challenge, this uh, monthly challenge this month. Holding our plank for a minute, but we're just holding here for one more breath. Belly strong. Next inhale, push the floor away. Take the heart forward, forward, forward. And then we lower, touch chaturanga to the belly or hover. Elbows in. Up dog or cobra. Heart lifts. Down dog. Few breaths there. And we'll move on. From down dog, on your next inhale, right leg lift. Exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands. Look out for your toddler. We're gonna come into warrior two, so back foot flat. Nice bend in this front knee, come on up. Extend the arms, reach forward, reach back. Sink low into the front knee and press open to the right. Hold there. Find your breath. One more breath. child today. Sorry, y'all are amazing. <laughs> All right, let's uh, move on. Take an inhale here. We're going to come into a side extended angle. Exhale. So taking the forearm down on the front thigh, top arm reaches up and over. Or you can place your hand to the inside or outside of the foot here, maybe on a block, and take that top arm up. Gaze could maybe come up if that's okay on the neck. But really think about pressing into that back foot. And reach top arm over, find that nice long line along the side body. One more full breath here. Maybe sink into the front knee a little further. And then on your next inhale, we'll reverse it. So uh, windmill the arms, but take it into a reverse triangle so this front leg straightens. Probably like, oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> right arm reaches up, up, up. Now find that length along the right side body here. One more breath, reach up, look up, inhale. Exhale, bend the front knee, plant the hands, step back. Vinyasa through, lower or press back, down dog. You choose, vinyasa or not. And we'll meet in down dog. Other side, from down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward, setting up for warrior two, back foot flat. Come on up. So this pose is, our legs are pretty um, spread out from front to back, especially if you have longer legs. So this is probably the widest standing pose stance that we have for warrior two. So that we can really sink into this front knee and open to the left. Gaze over the front fingers. Couple more breaths here. We'll open left knee to the left one more time. I'm gonna take an inhale here. That side extended angle. Forearm comes down on top of the thigh. Right arm reaches up, 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 and over. Maybe reach the hand to the inside or outside of the foot here. And then press into that back foot. Find that length along the side body. One more breath. And then on your inhale, we'll lift up. Reverse triangle. Front leg straightens. Left arm reaches. Couple breaths here. Opening up that right side body. Or left side. Left side. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knee. Plant the hands. Vinyasa through. Or just step it back, down dog. A 
right, we're gonna pick up the pace and we'll flow with these poses with the breath. So when you're ready, from down dog, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward in between the hands or walk it forward. Back foot flat, come on up, warrior two, inhale. Moving right into it, side extended angle, exhale. Top arm over. Windmill those arms, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle, right arm reaches. Exhale, bend the knee, plant the hands, step back. Chaturanga through or just take it back to down dog. From down dog, left leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward. Warrior two, rise up, inhale. Side extended angle, exhale, reach down, reach overhead. Reverse triangle, windmill those arms, straighten the front leg, reach up. And exhale, take the hands down, step back. Vinyasa through. We're gonna do one more time on each side. So when you're ready, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward, warrior two, come on up, inhale. Side extended angle, exhale, left arm over, rise up, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Exhale, bend the knee, plant the hands, step back, vinyasa or not. Almost get into a rhythm, kind of get a little dancey. Next inhale, left leg lift. Exhale, step the foot forward. Rise up, warrior two, inhale. Side extended angle, exhale. Reverse triangle, inhale. Straighten the front leg, left arm reaches. Exhale, bend the front knee, plant the hand, step back. Flow through. And let's go ahead and lower to child's pose from there. Take a rest, knees wide, big toes touch. Walk the hands forward. Forehead can come to the mat or maybe stacking the hands, creating a little pillow for the forehead. And just breathe there. Slow down the heart a little bit. Great way to wake up, that movement, that beautiful movement in the spine. We did lateral, we did flexion extension, and we'll come into a little rotation here as well. A couple more breaths in child's pose. <coughs> Let's walk those hands in. We'll make our way to our knees. We have just another minute or two of our power. So let's get a back bend in. Camel, Ustrasana. So we're knees apart about hips width, hands to the lower back. Hug the elbows in towards one another as we lift the chest, lift the gaze. And this might be enough. Great way to just open up. You might take it back a little bit following the ceiling, the gaze and the ceiling back. Maybe tuck the toes, reach for the heels. One more, two more breaths. And as you come up, lead with the heart. Let the head and neck follow, and we'll sit back on the heels. And we'll do that one more time. It can be intense. Feel free to skip this next one. We'll come back up. Here we go. One more time. Hands to the back. Hug elbows towards one another, lift the heart, the chest opens. Maybe start to take it back a little further. And keep squeezing shoulder blades towards one another, opening the chest. One more breath. And as you come up, lead with the heart, the head and neck follow. Sit back on the heels. Woo. Back bends are so, so good to counter everything that we, we do from in our day-to-day -day life, right? Our 
our uh, phone, our computer, driving, biking, running even. We always have our arms in front of us, kind of closing off this space, this chest, heart space. So, so, so good to get those, counter that, get those back bends in. All right, let's swing the legs around and we will come, start to uh, slow it down. We'll come into a forward fold first. So extend the legs forward. Feet can be a little apart, maybe knees bent a little bit, but we'll round forward as you're ready. You may take a cushion on top of your legs. We are transitioning into our piece here. So support if you'd like, and we'll round forward, taking about five to 10 breaths in this forward fold. Maybe let the head go, that feels okay on the neck. This is a yin style forward fold, so it's more of a rounding rather than extending and reaching. You're rounding and taking a softer approach to our hamstrings here, our lower back. We're easing our way into it and breathing. About five more breaths. Let the arms relax wherever they land. Soften the face, the jaw here, the space in between the eyebrows, soften. A couple more breaths. And on your next inhale, we'll slowly roll up. Let the head and neck come up last. And then just keep the left leg straight. We're gonna bend the right knee in here. Place the foot to the inside of the thigh or outside, <clears throat> either or. We're gonna come into a twist. So left arm reaches, find some length, inhale. Beautiful, and then exhale, twist, rotate to the right. You uh, could wrap this arm around the knee or hook the elbow to the outside. Left hand behind for support. What I always like to do here in the yin, more yin style is wrap the arm around, left arm around, and then use the back arm to kind of just hold on there, make it a little bit more um, just mellow, not as extended and reaching, more soft. And just ease your way into the twist. Maybe gently take the head or the gaze behind if that feels okay. As the time goes on, we sink into the twist rather than getting to that twist right away. We take the time with the breath. Soften the face, the jaw. In most yoga classes, we're getting all the movements of the spine. So we flexion extension with our, our uh, sun salutations or cat cow flexion extension. Then we have that lateral movement with our standing series, lateral movement of the spine. And now we have the rotation, rotating. A couple more breaths on this side. See if we could soften a little more. and release, unravel, come back to center. We'll extend the right leg out. <clears throat> and then when you're ready, take the left knee in, place the foot to the inside or outside of the thigh. Sit up tall, that right arm can come up, find the length. And then wrap the arm or hook the elbow. 
find your position, maybe not the deepest position right away, you sink into it as the time goes on. Nice and easy. And in these 30 minutes, we have that contrast, the yin or the yang, and then into the yin. that heated practice, now coming down into the more cooling practice. Looking at the first half more like the sun, the second half more like the moon. So coming back to that contrast we talked about with the alternate nostril breathing, the right, left, sun, moon, yin, yang. more breaths here. It's like to look at our personality types too. There's the extrovert and the introvert. So you think of the extrovert as um, external, that sun, that heat, and then the um, introvert, more internal, more quiet, right? Not, uh, not as out there, external. All right, let's go ahead and release that. Extend the legs. We'll make our way onto our back. Hug the knees into the chest. Hug the knees into the chest. Rock a bit side to side. And I just recently, in the last few years, have learned that I'm an introvert. I've learned that about myself. I'm kind of an extrovert in some situations, but mostly introvert. So that language makes a lot of sense to me now. It didn't for a really long time. <laughs> All right, let's take happy baby, knees wide, soles of the feet reach up. Or you could just have your knees wide here, hugging the knees into the shoulders. Or take the feet up, hug behind the thighs, the calves or the feet. And think about reaching the lower back down into the floor as we take our knees wide. Maybe rock it side to side here. breath. This one can be a little harder to hold. So just coming into the breath. We'll take about five more breaths here. You could always release the feet and just hug the knees in towards the shoulders, work it there. And we'll slowly release that happy baby. Hug the knees into the chest. One last time here. Give yourself a hug. Knees in. Maybe wrap the arms around the shins. Forehead to the knees. Squeeze. Take an inhale. And exhale. Extend out into our Shavasana. Find the relaxation. Palms face up. Wiggle the shoulder blades together under the body, opening the heart. Wiggle the hips around, find a comfortable position. And then find that stillness. Doing a little scan of the body, softening the face, the jaw. Allowing the shoulders to release. 
back of the shoulders on the floor, let the arms release, all 10 fingers release. Allowing the chest, the belly, the lower back soften, pelvis heavy into the floor as the legs release and all 10 toes release. Back of the head heavy, the pelvis heavy, body heavy. Absorb your practice here as long as you can. When it's time to come up, come up slow. Thank you all for joining. Have a beautiful Tuesday. We'll see you soon. Namaste.